I'm going to show you how to install chicken wire fence by yourself. Using a line laser, I set marks on all these posts to where I want the top of my fence to be. From corner post to corner post, I'm going to be setting this steel wire to get a nice straight line for the top of the fence based off the marks I set with the laser. Tying off the wire where I put the marks on the corner post and to get it tight, we can crank it down with the channel locks. But don't over tighten it or else it'll break. For now I just tied up this far end just to keep it off the ground for the next part. Next we're going to use these poultry staples to tack this into place on the marks we made. And we'll keep it loose for now. Now we're going to undo the last post and we're going to reset it a little bit tighter. Go back to the first post and tighten that one up a little bit more as well. Not too much or else it's going to break. Now we got a straight tight wire across the top of where the fence is going to go. Go back through and finish off all the poultry staples. distance between the wire and the poultry netting is about 12 inches. We're going to put marks at 12 inches below the wire we just set. Because of the size fence I'm using, we're going to have to do this two or three more times depending on the elevation. Once all the marks are set, we're going to repeat the process that we did for the first wire. Now that all the wire's done, we're ready to start throwing up the fence. For this part, we're going to need a staple gun and some cheap tie wraps. Since I'm doing this alone, I hit this top corner with a staple just to hold it in place while I roll this out to the next post. Now it's time to take the tie wraps and use them to tie the fence up to the wire every two foot. I didn't tighten these all the way because I still want these to move. We're going to be stretching this fence out. Repeat this process for all the wires going down. Now we're going to come back, we're going to secure the top of this fence to this post. Using the pattern of chicken wire, we're going to try to line up these slots so they're dead center with the post. As you can see, this is almost dead center here, so I'm going to follow these all the way down and I'm going to hit them with staples. As you can see, now we got a nice even level start on our first post. At this point, we're going to roll the chicken wire over to the next post so we have some slack to work with. Now we're going to add the tie wraps over to this wire all the way to the next post. Now we want to tighten this fence up and secure it to the next post. For this, I'm going to be using this flat blade screwdriver. What we're going to want to do is wedge it in the post and pull it. 
and while you're doing that you're going to want to push it up to get it even with your first mark and hit it with a staple. Throwing a couple more tie wraps on it will help get it in place. You can see the pattern here that winds up in the center of my post. I'm going to want to file this pattern down using the screwdriver as needed to pry this and hit this with some more staples. With the first section secure, we can come back and tighten up all these tie wraps. We can add some if they're slack, and then we can twist the ends off of them. If you don't want to spend the money on the tie wraps, you could always take pieces of this wire and cut them and twist those on as well. Follow this same pattern for the length of the fence until you start hitting higher ground. As you work uphill, the height of your fence is going to start to get taller than the top of the fence where you want it to be. All you got to do is kick the bottom out as you go along. Follow the same process as the level ground. When you start getting the slack on the ground, take your foot and step on it to pull it down. This will actually tighten up the fence as well to get out all the kinks. When you're done you can put garden staples in the bottom and that'll help keep the rabbits out. You can come back and add some more chicken wire to the bottom of this thing sticking out about a foot or two and that'll help keep any digging animals out of your garden. And that's basically it. Secured it to the last post. I'm going to cut the same spot along this wire all the way down so I can keep reusing this roll. And flatten this out and then we're done. If this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.